All right, hello everyone. Um, today we're gonna be making a little video for you. Uh, we're gonna be plating this nickel plated fishing lure and we're gonna be highlighting a new exciting product, our rose gold solution. So we're gonna go through the process, show you how we could plate this item with our rose gold. Uh, it's not important that it's a fishing lure, that's just the item we chose because it has a nice texture to it really shows uh, the color well. So it could be anything, imagine jewelry, um, you know, a necklace, a pendant, something like that, anything that would really fit into these beakers here. As you see, we're using the Jewel Master Pro HD. That's uh, our new kit if you haven't seen it, and it's great. So we're just gonna go through the steps real quick, describing them as we go along. Okay, we have it hung here in the Electro Cleaner solution. This is the first step for most processes. Um, as you see, it's held on the gold bus bar there. That's the negative current. And then we've got the positive current coming up over the back through this anode here. It's a stainless steel anode, just plugs right in the back there. We'll put that in there for about 30 seconds. It's nice and clean. Rinse it off here in this rinse, weeder, rinse water beaker. Now we're going to go on to the surface activator solution. It's the second step. As I said, this is a nickel piece. Uh, for most basic metals, this is the same three-step process that you would use. If it were steel, stainless steel, you would just need to change this surface activator out for Woods Nickel Strike and a bagged nickel anode. So that looks good and activated. Now, before you rose gold something, it's really best if you apply even just a thin layer of, of yellow gold. So let's go ahead and do a final rinse here of the piece before going into the yellow gold. So we're going to put on a 24K gold. So over here we've adjusted the voltage. Uh, you want to set it to around 4 and then uh, 3.5 to 4. And once you put your piece in, it will drop down. You then, will drop about a volt usually. You then adjust your voltage to about anywhere from 2.7 to 3 volts. We like to go to about 2.8 usually. That just uh, kind of seems to be the sweet spot for most pieces. So as you see, the, the meter's reading 0.25 amps or 250 milliampers at 2.8 volts. We're going to leave it in there for a minute to give it a nice uh, gold coating on it. Um, you could leave it in there as long as you want. It just depends on how thick um, you want that yellow gold layer to be. We're more, for decorative purposes, just going to be applying, put it in there for maybe half a minute. Just give it a gold color. Then we'll put the rose gold on top. As you can see, in that short amount of time, it was gold plated everywhere. Looks beautiful. Yellow gold, our yellow gold solution is always predictable like that. It delivers great results. Here it is, uh, next to a nickel piece that hasn't been plated yet. Okay, so now what we're going to do is change out the gold. So what we've done is swung this bus bar over to the side um, and unplugged the anode from its spot there, and then you can just pick the beaker up. We had this rose gold ready to go ahead of time. We heated it up in the microwave actually. Having a little microwave for your lab is nice. Got it up to 130 ahead of time and then uh, it's ready to go. Plugged in in the back. Swing that bus bar back out in front. Now you're ready to rose gold plate. So we're just going to get right to it. Go through the three step process again real quickly. Going to electro clean. Probably only do these about 15 seconds this time and what you need to remember to do is adjust your voltage back up to uh, about six to seven volts for these first two steps uh, anywhere in that range will will do fine okay pieces electro cleaned looks good gonna activate it just real quickly that nice fresh gold layer as uh, 
quite active as it is. Um, so rinse. We like to always do a double rinse before going into any gold solution just to pre prevent contamination. And now we're going to adjust the voltage. Um, for the rose gold, we'll start at 6 volts. Uh, it really has a wide range of use, but um, we'll try it out at 6 and see what, what we think. As you can see, it's gassing real quick here. It starts to plate immediately. And it'll turn rose gold really quickly, uh, but it doesn't get the the color you're looking for till about, I'd say, 20, 30 seconds. We're going to go ahead and leave this part in for a minute. And it just... About. I haven't been timing Yeah, it. about a minute. Um... After 30 seconds, it turns the color, and then any time longer than that, you're you're just putting on more thickness. Um, yeah, this is our new rose gold. It, it it works really well. We love it, and you'll see the results here in a second. You can judge for yourself. Look at that nice pink, uniform color everywhere go ahead and rinse it off there and we'll take a look at it you know imagine that you that could have been a rack of rings um, pendants anything that'll fit in there well and uh, just that quick we went from A to Z rose gold and uh, here's a, a regular gold yeah, here we go so we got a yellow gold, then the the rose gold there, and then uh, the regular nickel that they all were at one point. So I'll show you the other side here. The inside. Very uniform, nice plate. Um, and yeah, it's the same price as the yellow gold per bottle. And this is the Joel Master plating with yellow gold and rose gold. It's as easy as that, folks. Uh, if you have any questions, please just let us know. Thanks for watching.